Let's talk about a technique called chain of thought prompting. Chain of thought is when you think through the steps to a solution. Doctors often employ a chain of thought process to diagnose a patient. A teacher breaking down a math problem so you can see the logic is using a chain of thought process. The best time to use chain of thought prompts is when you're trying to solve a complex task. As with the persona pattern, data shows that this technique can produce better results. Let's use a chain of thought prompt to teach the AI how to solve a math problem. A farmer sold 75 apples and 85 oranges. If oranges cost 80 cents each and apples cost 60 cents each, how much total revenue did the farmer earn from the fruits? Chain of thought prompt. 1. Calculate the total revenue from apples. Multiply the number of apples, 75, by the price per apple, 60 cents. 2. Calculate the total revenue from oranges. Multiply the number of oranges, 85, by the price per orange, 80 cents. 3. Add the revenue from apples and oranges to get the total revenue. To determine the total revenue the farmer earned from selling apples and oranges, we will follow these steps. 1. Calculate the total revenue from apples. 2. Calculate the total revenue from oranges. 3. Sum the revenues from both apples and oranges to get the total revenue. Step 1. Calculate the total revenue from apples. The number of apples sold is 75 and each apple costs 60 cents. Revenue from apples equals 75 times 0 0.60. Revenue from apples equals 45. This chain of thought approach guides the AI step by step through the problem. This can help avoid common pitfalls in complex tasks and generate more accurate answers. Chain of thought prompting is particularly handy when you're working with custom or private data because you can teach the AI how to perform the task step by step so it has a template to follow. Now you can also flip this concept around and use chain of thought prompting to output the AI's logic like this. I have $5,000 to invest. Should I put it into stocks, bonds or a savings account? Describe your reasoning. Deciding where to invest $5,000 depends on several factors, including your financial goals, risk tolerance, time horizon, and current economic conditions. Let's look at the pros and cons of each option, stocks, bonds, and a savings account. One, stocks. Pros, potential for high returns. Historically, stocks have offered higher returns compared to bonds and savings accounts over the long term. The average annual return of the stock market is around 7 to 10%. And another, my laptop is running slow. What should I check to diagnose the issue? Show your reasoning. When diagnosing a slow laptop, several factors could be contributing to the issue. Here are the steps and checks you should perform. 1. Check for malware and viruses. Reasoning. Malware or viruses can consume significant system resources, causing your laptop to run slowly. Action. Run a full system scan using a reputable antivirus program. And another. Should I report a co-worker who is stealing small items from the office? Show your reasoning. Reporting a co-worker who is stealing small items from the office can be a difficult decision, but there are several reasons why it is generally the right course of action. 1. Integrity and ethics. Allowing theft to go unreported can undermine your own integrity and the ethical standards of the workplace. By reporting the theft, you uphold a culture of honesty and accountability. 2. Legal obligations. Many workplaces have policies and laws that require employees to report theft. Failing to report could potentially make you complicit or liable if the theft is discovered later. Chain of thought prompting is an amazing and powerful technique. When solving tasks you're familiar with, Seeing the AI's logic step by step enables you to correct any issues before running your prompt. And if you already run a prompt, you can still use this approach to get the AI to output every step in retrospect, so you're able to see where the AI went wrong if there's an issue with the output. And finally, if you're absurdly bad at math like I am, chain of thought prompting comes in very useful because it not only lets me see how the AI is arriving at a solution, it actually shows me how to solve the problem.